Welcome to South Sound Seniors, a program for and about older adults in our community. It's nice to be back. I was gone last month and I really want to send out a thank you to Chris Quimby who hosted the show for me while I was at St. Peter's Hospital getting two new knees. So I'd get up and dance for you right now, but it's still not pretty. So why don't you wait till I get a few dancing lessons and then I'll be up and about. But I'm still Eileen from Senior Services for South Sound and it's just my pleasure to be back and we have a really great show for you this month and hope you will enjoy it. First guest is Paul Taylor. Paul, welcome. Thank you. And you were here, I think, beginning of the year talking about STARS Adult Day program that you're the director of, but you've got some kind of some fun stuff coming up. But in case somebody didn't see the show in January, can you just do a little overview about what the STARS Adult Day Care Program is? Sure, uh, the STARS Adult Day Program is a program to help uh, people who are dealing with Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, or any other condition which requires some supervised care. Um, or if people um, are housebound and needing to get out and have a program of socialization but also have someone watching over and making sure that they don't fall or things like that we have a great program for them it's a program of activities games discussion reminiscing and uh, just all out and out fun we have uh, uh, we have it, two programs actually, one at the Lacey Senior Center mm -hmm. and one in Shelton at Faith Lutheran Church. And mm -hmm. the one in Shelton is Mondays and Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. The one in Lacey is five days a week from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Folks come to us. We have a great time. Cool. It's a wonderful program. Of course, near to and dear to my heart because I got to work in STARS for a number of years. So it was wonderful. It's a great place. I still get to come back and play the guitar and sing periodically. Absolutely. Yeah. But what I'm kind of excited about is a fundraiser. One of the ways STARS is paid for is through fundraisers where we raise scholarships for low-income folks. And there's a special event coming up pretty early on in June, isn't it? Yes, on June 13th, Saturday, June 13th, we're having a uh, uh, afternoon tea dance. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is an opportunity we'll, uh, from 2 to 4 p.m., mm -hmm. we'll have a uh, some musicians from the YMCA Swing Band, mm -hmm. and uh, also a singing group called the Rose Garden Singers. Mm -hmm. And we'll have lemonade and desserts, mm -hmm. and we'll have dancing and music at the beginning, and the Rose Garden Singers will perform, and then we'll end the afternoon with more dancing. So mm -hmm. come on out and be part of a fun summer afternoon mm -hmm. at the Star Center. Okay, and how much are the tickets for that, Paul? Five dollars a person, so it's mm -hmm. very affordable. Mm -hmm. um, all proceeds will go to the STARS Adult Day program. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a half and half raffle as well. So, okay. A um, little opportunity for some uh, take home for you and more support for the STARS program. All right, and that's at the Lacey Senior Center. Lacey Senior Center on Saturday, June, June 13th, 13th from 2 to 4 p.m. Okay, a tea dance where they're serving lemonade. Will Correct. there be tea too? I don't know. I okay. asked that question myself. So we can well. probably make you some tea if you want it. <laughs> so I really think it's wonderful because it's actually one of our STARS participants' partners that kind of has organized this whole thing. Yes, and they did something similar last year with not in direct connection with our uh, site, uh -huh. and but the proceeds of it went to us. So right. if you remember it, uh, you may have attended it last year, now it's just at the Senior Center. Right, yeah, so I think that's wonderful, and I think Anita Rose for really pulling this all together. Yeah, so, well, I know STARS has great activities and programs, but I know also we're really concerned about caregivers and educating caregivers, and one of our staff is doing a presentation. Could you talk a little bit about that? Sure, a key aspect of our program is that it provides time off for caregivers so that while their loved one is having a good time with us, the caregiver is getting a break and a chance to do other things. But we are now, uh, looking more and more at providing support services for caregivers and what we're doing is we're offering something called Dementia 101 and essentially it's um, the, the topic of dementia can be kind of scary 
And so this is an opportunity for people to learn the difference between a regular age-related memory loss, which everyone experiences, mm -hmm. and what some of the signs of uh, approaching dementia might be, as well as how best to communicate with someone who has dementia. Mm -hmm. And this uh, program is going to be offered free of charge to anyone interested on uh, the second Thursday of each month from 2.30 to 4.30. And it's going to alternate between mm -hmm the Olympia Senior Center and the Lacey Senior Center. Nice. So May 14th is the first opportunity. Mm -hmm. That'll be at the Olympia Senior Center. The June okay. event will be, a June version of the class will be mm -hmm. at the Lacey Senior Center. Oh, I think that's wonderful because there is a lot of mystery and fear about what dementia is and do I have it and right. you know, I forgot my car keys what are, you know I well, must for have people it. who are caring for someone uh, they say I really don't know how to approach them mm -hmm. and this will give them some ideas of some strategies yeah. to do that yeah that's wonderful and I'm really glad that Sherry has taken this on she's a great teacher she did a wonderful job at our own staff training and she's really very good Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming in, and let's hope that the tea dance is just a huge success and makes lots of money for our STARS program. Yeah. Great. Great. Come on out and enjoy it. Thanks thank a you. lot, Paul. Please stay with us. We're going to be right back to learn about um, assisted living options and meet a certified care manager.